Well, do you pray? Well, do you fall? On your knees when everything goes wrong. Go back to the word in the good book you heard that will save you a place somewhere. The idea was always there to, um, you know, do a record on my own. I think the majority of musicians, you know, always kind of have that somewhere in the back of their head, you know, to do a record where you're able to control what's on it and do whatever you'd like to do. From the point where uh, Hot Water Music took a hiatus, we, we kind of split for a while. Uh, I went back to my trade uh, in carpentry work and just continued working out in California. and. Uh, one day I was just sitting around playing some songs in the kitchen and my wife just simply said, hey, maybe you should record some of these songs. I started uh, demoing some stuff with a good friend of mine, Mitchell Townsend in Huntington Beach, um, which later on became uh, the Blueprint Sessions that I put out on a, a series called, on No Idea Records called the uh, Seven Inch Club. From there, I just kind of kept plugging it away and, and uh, I love doing it. I mean, compared to, to uh, you know, playing in a band and touring, you know, with a band because uh, in Hot Water Music we were relentless. I mean, we were always on the road and and uh, we lived on the road. We decided everything together. We wrote music together. All four of us wrote individually, but but in the end we we wrote collectively. We'd pull songs together and tear them apart and put them together, and. Uh, Doing, doing it this way, there's, it's, again, it's, it's fully liberating. Well, do you sing from your soul when you feel that cold before the storm? Doing the last uh, couple records, uh, Los Feliz and especially Feast or Famine, um, you know, I had a, a good solid batch of songs and I already knew, had a great idea of, of how I wanted to do them, what I wanted to uh, get on these records, uh, teamed up with uh, producer Ted Hutt and a great engineer Ryan Mall, and just started hacking away at them and uh, some great, great people, great friends played on it. Nathan Maxwell uh, was able to play some bass on it, James Fernley of the Pogues played some accordion on it, Matt Hensley, Jolie Holland, John Gaughan of course, Ted Hutt played on it, uh, Matt Skiba saying Tim Berry and uh, his sister Caitlin and Josh Small. So it was, uh, it was a pretty cool uh, collaboration. And, and uh, the best part about it to me, it was nothing was scripted or planned. You know, had ideas of where we would want stuff and how we wanted to, you know, fill out some of these songs. But as far as the people who were on it, it was just a matter of the timing and who was in town and, and who was up for swinging by. So. I wanna dance like nobody's watching Oh, and sing like nobody cares Climb to the top of the mountains we see Find peace and a die up there I love doing this stuff, um, you know, solo, the solo stuff live. It's, um, it's scary, you know, and, and that's a huge part of, of uh, why I love it so much. It's still intimidating, you know, and it's still, especially playing, you know, I've, I've had a great opportunities to open up for some great bands and then play a lot of stuff on my own as well. But, you know, to stand up in, in front of a band to uh, a, a big audience who the majority of them could care less who you are, they don't know you from Adam, and, and uh, you're getting up, standing up in front of a band who's getting ready to blow the roof off of the place and uh, with an acoustic guitar it can be pretty uh, pretty intimidating and scary but that's what I love about it because you know you get up there and and you know climb the mountain and and you're done and you did it and that's again just you know exhausting but liberating You know, I grew up in a pretty conservative Southern Baptist household, and a lot of the music in the household was was old bluegrass or, or uh, old gospel, old hymns, stuff like that. And uh, you know, so I mean, that stuff has always kind of been, 
you know, uh, swimming around in my head. Not not that I agree with a, a lot of the beliefs in that type of music, but but more so just the the feeling of it and the energy of it and the movements of, of arrangements like that. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing that hasn't been done before. It's just, you know, simple porch songs on an acoustic guitar and some harmonicas and every once in a while have, you know, my buddy playing fiddle or banjo or, you know, whatever, whatever comes or goes. That's, that's what's pretty amazing and it's been overwhelming, the response for all of this stuff has been so great and uh, I don't take it for granted at all and I'm so appreciative that people have been into it and have you know spent the time and energy to keep up with it and go out and get the records and come to the shows um, it's pretty it's pretty intense come to the top of the mountains with sea to find peace and a die